from the uh, Kalahari manganese fields, northern cap of South Africa. Uh, this is, it's not as bright as what you're seeing in the picture, but it's actually quite a, quite an impressive specimen in that the, the hematite crystals are rather large and the fine dusting you see on the hematite crystals would be tiny andradite garnets forming. Uh, from a display point of view, you'd mainly look at it from the top down, so it would be on a turntable going around like this, going around like that. You'd have the various aspects. Very, very difficult to photograph hematite accurately. Now, in this section, this is always the sections I look for to find other associations like the Gardefroyite or the Mangano Vesuvianite. Um, most likely just the... Uh, 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 maybe some andradite garnet in there. Uh, if you use, this is the matrix, the manganese ore matrix, so one could display it for instance like this, going around like that on a turntable, so it could have that aspect. This is actually quite appealing, yes, this is actually quite nice. Uh, let's just go in a little bit. And it's a silver metallic, uh, almost a grey, and then this fine dusting of uh, uh, appears to be andradite garnets. It could also be some prenite. The prenite from the Kalahari is orange, and uh, you have little sprays of orange needles forming uh, almost botroids. But I think here we're talking about an association of uh, andradite garnet with the with the. Uh, the hematite and of course the hematite quite prominently visible there's the head of the specimen lovely piece all the way from uh, well most likely Channing 2 could be from vessels too